Hello and welcome to another standard gameplay video. Today we're going to have some fun in the play queue with this blue-black poison deck that's built around a case of the ransacked lab. This 3-mana enchantment says instant and sorcery spells cost 1 less to cast, which is perfect for a deck that has all these 2 and 3-mana instants and sorceries. And then in order to solve the case, we need to cast 4 or more instant and sorcery spells during our turn, and then end of turn it will be solved. And then from now on, whenever we cast an instant or sorcery spell, we get to draw a card so that can also get out of hand very quickly and of course the eventual goal is to poison the opponent to death we can initially apply a poison using a prologue which can uh, draw a card and give the opponent a poison counter we can also use a Vraska's fall making the opponent sacrifice a creature or planeswalker and get a poison counter and then there's infectious inquiry which draws us two cards at the cost of two life and then each opponent gets a poison counter so we've got 10 of these instants and sorceries to apply a poison as well as two copies of Mirax in our mana base to make a might token which can also maybe apply that first poison and then uh, try to proliferate those poison counters with serum snare if we bounce a cheap enough permanent and drown an ichor another removal spell that can proliferate and experimental augury can look at the top three to put one card in hand as well as proliferate so these in combination with the other poison effects can help deal 10 poison to the opponent to win the game and then of course once we solve our case and we start casting these spells for one mana drawing additional cards we can quickly string together a whole bunch of these to poison the opponent to death and then uh, rounding out the deck we're kind of a control deck so we've got a bunch of removal including cut down at one mana doesn't benefit from the discount on the case but it's still a cheap spell we can cast early in the game if needed and then it's still a one mana spell since ideally we can already solve the case on turn four if we play turn three turn four we have four mana and then if we cast four one or two mana spells then we could already solve the case but often we'll have to wait a little bit longer for that to happen and then a march of wretched sorrow is also perfect in a deck like this since we can cast it for just a single black still dealing one damage and gaining one life if we get the discount from our case but then in the late game it can also gain us more life against aggro to help stabilize but the fact that we can always cast it on the cheap to maybe solve a case is quite useful and we can always pitch a black card from our hand to increase its damage output then we also have a go for the throat and then the sweeper deadly cover-up which we can also maybe cast on turn four thanks to our discount and then collect evidence can also maybe strip away a key combo piece from the opponent's deck so that can also come in handy and gives us a catch-up mechanism against go wide decks since cards like Vraska's fall aren't particularly good if the opponent is making a bunch of tokens and then we have a bit more card draw as well with Distorted Curiosity, which can maybe draw two cards for just a single blue if the opponent already has three or more poison. So as you can see, the entire deck is either card draw, removal, or a way to apply poison or proliferate it. So it's a pretty nice engine once you can actually solve the case, but that's the main challenge here. Even if we draw it, it's not always easy to have four spells left in hand that we can cast in the same turn, since some of our removal spells may also require the opponent to have creatures in play for us to target. So it's definitely not easy easy to transform the case but once we do we should be in the driver's seat and then our mana base besides Mirex has a bunch more blue black dual lands including four copies of the undercity sewers letting us surveil when it enters giving us a bit more card selection can also maybe help fill the graveyard for collect evidence and then we've got shipwreck marsh dark slick shores and then a bunch of basics as well as Ottawara. no sense in playing the black channel land since we don't have any creatures or planeswalkers to return so yeah that's our deck now let's jump into some games since you're the deck does. Okay, we're on the play with a uh, keepable hand. We'll be looking for our case. And we've got a bit of card draw here with augury to maybe find it. Would be nice to first apply a poison so we can proliferate it. Turn two we can keep up both bring the ending and augury. So having that flexibility is nice and we found the case. Okay, so now we just need more lands. Opponent might be on the uh, Teamer Landfall deck. So we can maybe bring the ending to counter Nissa, whereas Cutdown deals with the Aftermath Analyst. But if I want to tap out for the case on turn 3, then I wouldn't be able to necessarily counter Nissa. Opponent with another fetch land. The good news is we don't care about the opponent gaining life, since our plan is to poison. And then I guess I'll get just an island here, since if I draw another Dark Slick Shores next turn, I might regret taking it. Okay, so 
How scared are we of Nyssa? A little bit. Can still bounce it with Serum Snare, so I think it's fine to deploy the case here. And then next turn I would maybe Inquiry, Serum Snare, and then we can counter all the way back. It's gonna be a Spelunking instead. Can still bounce it here if I want to, but then they also get to replay it and maybe draw an extra card. Okay. So they'll have an untapped land here, but I don't think they have any one mana plays. Okay, so we have some decent options available. Question is whether we want to hold some cards to try and cast four in the same turn. Probably still fine to cast Inquiry, since I also need to hit more land drops in order to cast more spells in the same turn. And then uh, found another case. So if they play Nissa, we have Vraska's Fall as a removal spell for it as well. And uh, March can also target it. Alright, it's going to be Roxanne. That one is better to counter because it will leave behind a Meteorite. And the counter spell is also not a way we can easily transform the case, whereas Serum Snare I can still cast in my turn. Okay, so just gonna play another case and pass. So now we can Vraska's Fall for just a single black. So as long as they present a few creatures here, we could solve our cases. Boone's got a Memory Deluge instead. At least Vraska's Fall I can cast even if they don't have anything in play. These are targeted removal. And a virtue to get back Roxanne, that's fine. We actively want them to play Roxanne now. So we want to surveil into another spell, ideally a card draw spell. So bring the ending doesn't really do it anymore. Opponent's got plenty of mana to pay for it, since they only have the one poison. So there's Aftermath Analysts with for mana to immediately return five fetch lanes. I could Serum Snare the Spelunking at least in response, so they don't get all those lands untapped. But if we want to solve the case, it's maybe better to let them uh, go for it. Don't think they'll be tapping out for Roxanne. All right, never mind. So that's pretty good news for us, because now we can pretty easily solve the case. Just have to wait until our turn to cast him. And the uh, curiosity was excellent too. So start here. Cut down the analysts. Vraska's Fall, Roxanne, I want to say. And then Serum Snare, the Spelunking. And then the case is solved, and we still have two instants available. So we can immediately start drawing with our two solved cases. Yeah, had our opponent just kept up for mana to sack Analyst, this would not have worked out quite as well for us. But they probably had no idea what we were working with. So there's Nissa, which as soon as it puts a trigger on the stack, I can try and remove it. Alright, Puno goes to attackers, so now I can maybe take out Nissa before it gets a chance to even trigger. X equals 4. Since we get a 2 mana discount. And we immediately draw 2. Find a Vraska's Fall. That's one mana draw to make the opponent sack a creature or planeswalker and apply a poison. Which is a pretty good card. And now we wouldn't mind another bring the ending, but I think uh, we got rid of both of our copies now. So we wouldn't be able to draw a counterspell to maybe counter a lethal World Soul's Rage. 
So now it's all about applying as much poison as quickly as possible. Nessa down, back up to 20. And find deadly cover-up. This could also be a powerful cranial extraction effect to get rid of some of their wing conditions. Could also strip away memory deluge, which I also don't hate. Or we can wait until they mill World Souls Rage, which is not in the graveyard yet. So let me start by surveilling. Don't really need another cutdown. Could Vraska's fall now just to draw two? I think I just deadly cover up the memory deluge while we can. And then doesn't matter too much what we get rid of. I get to draw two. Find Odawara. And then let's get rid of Deluge. Opponent's hand does have Rage, Explosion, some removal. And then kind of your typical teamer list. Okay, so at least we got rid of some of their main card draw effects. And then just pass a turn for now. If they play Kellen, we can Vraska's fall. But yeah, the rage is still pretty scary. Since it will also ramp them. So I might have to channel Ottawara to bounce Spelunking here. Maybe wait for them to cast a bigger effect. Yeah, opponent's just going to cast the 7 mana Virtue of Strength, which I can also bounce with Odawara to buy ourselves a turn. Because they have Virtue plus Rage would be lethal. So we somehow need to deal 7 poison next turn. That's probably not happening. But if I bounce Virtue, I can probably buy myself another turn. Our opponent's adventuring Kellen. That's fine. So now they might use Virtue to get back Nyssa before casting the Rage. So that's a reason to still hang on to the Vraska's Fall. See, so another deadly cover up would be useful, but we still need Rage to be in the graveyard first. And we draw a land. So yeah, can hope to just string together more spells. Or I can hang on to the Vraska's Fall. To maybe remove Nissa at instant speed. I think I just pass. Because with a 2 mana discount I can realistically apply 7 poison next turn, as long as we string together enough spells. But if they go Nissa into Rage, I could just die on the spot. Right, so our opponent gets back Nissa. Plays it, and once again, as soon as we get priority, we can try and remove it. Still cannot target it with cutdown, since it's not a valid target. But Vraska's Fall works. And Curiosity was a nice pickup. And another Vraska's Fall, alright, so we're getting somewhere. Might be able to get there next turn if we get lucky. And since they didn't replay the enchantments, we're less worried about getting comboed. So another Vraska's Fall, draw two more, apply another poison. Opponent draws as well. Alright, so kick things off with Prologue. So we need five more poison. There's another prologue. Found the cover up. Let's go for curiosity just to draw a bunch. Augury will proliferate, opponent up to 8 poison. Found Mirex as well, and then another prologue. Could also grab the uh, serum snare for spelunking. And then Vraska's Fall is 10 poison, so we got there. Just have to be careful not to deck ourselves. And another prologue can do the honors. Alright, so yeah. I said I was potentially able to just win the game, and... 
with the power of two solved cases. You can see why, since you just string together your whole deck onto the next one. Okay, we're on the draw with a keeper. Opponent blue-white, hopefully not a super controlling deck, since we don't mind taking out some creatures on occasion. Chart, of course, to draw and discard. Could also be the graveyard combo deck. Maybe it's the monastery mentor deck. Hard to tell for now. So, yeah, pick the prologue. That's a decent play. Get that first poison going so we can eventually proliferate it. And another chart, of course. Have to pay close attention to what they discard. For now, just a bunch of lanes. All right, we can probably tap out for our case. There might be ways our opponent can remove it. But hopefully they don't. Founding for more graveyard milling. Mending to draw and discard. Could still be the Haraktos joins up combo deck. As we see, archaeologists go to the graveyard. Another chart, of course. We have a few removal spells to maybe interact with a combo. And then for now, we want to apply more poison to discount the curiosity as well. So let me start here. Okay. So I don't think our opponent is likely to combo off next turn, although they will mill four. So if they get lucky, they could mill both the uh, Hulk as well as Ragdos joins up. And then with Abuelo's Awakening, they can combo kill us. So there's definitely a risk to tapping out. But it does set me up to maybe next turn solve the case, which puts me in a good position. But uh, I guess with our opponent at two poison, I could maybe just wait and cast Prologue, keeping up Go for the Throat and March. But if I cast Inquiry, then Curiosity will cost one mana next turn, so it's a lot easier to cast four spells in one turn. Okay, and then discard a card. Could make it a lane since I'm likely to find more next turn. And then next turn I can solve the case. Opponent is indeed on the Ragdos combo deck. Milling the Hulking Metamorph. But it looks like they'll have to wait another turn. And then now we should be able to keep up some interaction. And yeah, go for the throat is still going to work because they're just going to use Abuelo's Awakening on Ragdos joins up. All right, so we just need to hit our land drop here, and then we should be good. It needs to be untapped. All right, as we draw two Dark Slick Shores. So maybe start with uh, Augury, since that digs a bit deeper than Prologue. Found an untapped land, can make it Mirex as well. Sure. And then make a blue here. Cast Prologue. Case is solved, and we still have Cut Down March and Go for the Throat available. But yeah, the solved case is what's important. And then next turn we should be able to apply 5 poison potentially. Put on flashing back Gaze. They're still probably looking for Rakdos joins up. And there it is. So now they can cast Abuelo's Awakening, targeting Rakdos joins up. And that resolves. And then in response to this trigger, we're going to want to probably cut down for now. Draw a card. Now they do still get to return the Metamorph. So it's a 9-9 creature, but it easily dies to Vraska's Fall. So now the question is, do I want to play another case first? Opponent's got 5 poison. Yeah, chances of completely poisoning them to death this turn are pretty low. So I can maybe afford to play another case. Play a Vraska's Fall. And then have another Vraska's Fall available. 
So yeah, unless they go Grand Abolisher into another Abuelo's Awakening, we should be fine. Right, just an Awakening once again. So same play as before. Wait for the trigger, cut down. And now with Deadly cover-up we can just strip all the combo pieces out of their deck to make it impossible for them to combo off. And then we should also be able to just draw enough cards to find more poison or proliferate effects onto the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. Our hand's a little clunky, heavy on the three drops. At least Curiosity will eventually get a discount. So I'll try it. And then we're just looking for land three. Can't really keep cover up, sadly. Found a case, so that's nice. Put into Mardu colors. And wedding announcements, alright. Pretty good against our Vraska's fall. But at least it will provide plenty of targets for our removal spells, so we're not going to struggle to cast multiple removal spells in one turn. So deploy the case, hope they cannot remove my enchantment. Blood Vile Purveyor, alright, this deck looks familiar. So... Opponent's already got a Poison, Serum Snare, probably a good way to bounce the Purveyor for the time being. Um, can Inquiry as well. And then set up a 1 mana Curiosity as a way to maybe uh, cast 4 spells on the same turn. Okay, so I'm just gonna play Dark Slick and Serum Snare the Purveyor before it attacks. And our opponent attacked, meaning they draw with Wedding Announcement instead of getting a token. So I can maybe cut down one, march another, and then Vraska's Fall answers Purveyor. Although the problem here is I want a Vraska's Fall first so they get three poison so I can Curiosity for one mana. Yeah, I guess we'll just maybe wait to solve the case and for now just deal with their board. Get a bunch more blood tokens. March pitching Vraska's fall. It is a bit of a shame that we're not solving the case this turn. But hopefully Curiosity can find more spells we can cast. So definitely getting rid of a swamp. And then the blood tokens can also maybe help cycle through the deck. Ball, yep. Into a plunder. Now the plunder is actually pretty scary when they gave us five blood tokens, but deadly cover up to the rescue. So maybe I just cover up this turn and wait on curiosity until next turn. And then what's the scariest card for us to get rid of? Can uh, maybe get rid of Blood Vile Purveyor. Although if they play it, I do have a Vraska's Fall as an answer. So maybe it is actually the Plunderer. This is, it might take me a while to get through all these tokens. And then a bunch of removal we don't care about. Archangel, High Gunjo. So a deck list we're definitely familiar with here. Okay. And then wait on Curiosity so we can hopefully cast four spells next turn. Another combo. Find target for Vraska's Fall. So I'm not going to use any blood. Find another case. So maybe step one, Curiosity. Find Prologue. So if Prologue finds a cheap spell, we can solve the case. Didn't get there. I do potentially get a redraw with a blood token, discarding Dark Slick. Since yeah, casting the case doesn't count as solving it, otherwise I could have solved both at once. And 
and a drown. Okay, so that works. I just need to drown first. Even though it's a bit of a waste here. And then Vraska's fall case is finally solved. And then now with the blood tokens we can make sure we find additional spells to cast to string together here. Our opponent found another Kambal, but they're already at 6 poison. So let me start by discarding a swamp. Even though maybe swamp is still more useful than a case since I'm probably not solving a second one. When I built the Mardu deck, people in the comments suggested get lost over go for the throat. Yeah, get lost would have been a bit better here. So a note to the opponent if they're seeing this. Feel free to maybe play a split of those two. And then uh, cut down. Maybe not the best, but it's still a spell we can cast. Can for now Serum Snare the Wedding Festivity or Kambal itself. Either one's fine. They do get to fizzle my Serum Snare if they go for the throat their own Kambal, whereas they couldn't do that with Wedding Festivity. But they're gonna keep it around. And then I guess we can maybe keep going here. Probably won't be poisoning them this turn. Well, there's still a chance, I guess. And another augury. All right, so we got there. Draw and then poison. Sweet. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw with a keepable hand. Don't have our case yet, but we can start by applying a bit of poison and proliferating it. Facing a green aggro. And then another augury. Isn't bad, but I probably should look for additional lands. So I can maybe double spell two drops on turn four. Opponent off to a decent start. Adaptive into Beast Caller. So probably want to start with Prologue so we can start proliferating the poison, even though that means not removing any of their creatures this turn. But maybe we can wait until we deadly cover up. Take four. And also this is next. All right, fair enough. So at least they're not applying too much additional pressure this turn. And uh, yeah, could play sewers. So next turn we can double two drop. And for now take out maybe the beast caller. Don't mind land five. And a Thirsting Roots can proliferate, both the oil counter as well as the plus one counter. Alright, so in hindsight, removing Adaptive instead of Beast Caller would have worked out better. Now we have a couple options. Probably just pass with four mana available. And then if we're afraid of a protection spell, I could Vraska's Fall. Although it would be more mana efficient to Augury plus go for the Throat. Opponent is attacking for lethal. So I'm forced to use a removal spell. And yeah, go for the throw. It's a little risky, so I maybe should have just main phased it. But uh, yeah, Vraska's Fall still looks good. And then I don't expect to cast cover up next turn, since our opponent's not going to present too many threats all at once. So we have time to take it slow, augury, maybe find our case. Don't mind an inquiry. And then I could cast it now, since I don't expect to take 5 damage next turn. And 
And then March can gain some life back eventually. Scrap Gorger grows. I guess I could beat that to a giant growth here. Just take two. Okay, so we have options. Opponent could still be holding a card like Tyvar's Stand to make their creature indestructible. So it might need two removal spells to deal with a Scrap Gorger. But yeah, let's maybe start with Augury. Find Curiosity. Opponent at six poison. So we may not need the case this game to get there. Also doesn't seem like our opponent is holding a protection spell. So I can maybe let him untap, maybe use Ozolith to present lethal, and then I can still respond with go for the throat. And then I can always cast a march pitching some black cards if I really need to gain life. But if we can force them to use Ozolith, they maybe end up wasting some mana. Probably should have waited for them to attack, because now they can use Scrap Gorger for mana and cast another creature spell. Although, we'll probably have it covered with Cut Down. Alright, Bristly Bill, that's acceptable. So I'll just cut it down. And our opponent has seen enough, alright, fair enough. So even though we don't have many ways to apply more poison between March and cover-up, we can survive for a couple more turns and eventually draw into more poison cards or proliferate effects onto the next one. Okay, we're on the play, and uh, this hand's a little sketchy with Mirex being our only blue source temporarily. But I have good removal for aggro, can apply a bit of poison with prologue, so I'll give it a shot. And then, yeah, ideally draw a blue source so we can prologue first and then proliferate it instead of the other way around. And yeah, tiny bones, a fine target for cut down. Right, found our blue mana. So I guess it's fine to still uh, prologue here. And then, even if we can't augury next turn, I can still use a removal spell and then get our blue mana sorted. Another Tiny Bones, we don't mind. Could now also Drown, although might be able to take care of larger creatures. Looking for the case, looking for additional lands. Maybe some actual card advantage. Any effect that draws two cards is also appreciated, so I'll keep the Inquiry on top. And then, yeah, let's uh, maybe pass and then plan to cut down Tiny Bones. Could also march for x equals 1. So, pawn goes to attackers. Yeah, let's just cut down. Can maybe cast a large march later in the game to gain some life back. For now, inquiry, try and hit our land drop. So, yeah, things are going pretty smoothly so far. Pawn's not doing much. Our opponent's probably holding a bunch of removal spells that they cannot cast. Can uh, maybe Inquiry again, or Augury, which digs a bit deeper for land. Probably want to keep up Bring the Ending from now on, though. So it's a little risky if we Inquiry and don't find an untapped land. But it's maybe worth it. Alright, perfect. So now we're in great shape. We have two hard counters in hand. Double Augury to dig deeper. And this is not going to resolve. And that's enough for a concession, but yeah, we were comfortably in control mode here with lots of card draw, removal, and even counter spells. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play. Our hand's missing some first poison effects, since we have ways to proliferate. But uh, probably still a reasonable enough hand with good mana. Can start with a marsh. And then ideally find our case early on. There it is, okay. So I could just do nothing turn two. Since we'll be able to cast these all for one mana, so there's a chance we can solve the case on turn four already. 
So our opponent might be on the uh, Trailblazer combo deck that aims to copy Trailblazer a bunch with a Duplomancy and then eventually give the team haste with a card like Song of Tottentons. And that can, yeah, potentially win on turn 4 with an ideal draw. So then Serum Snare can be instant speed interaction. I think I still hang on to the Augury. I'm still safe to tap out for the case since they wouldn't be able to combo until turn 4. And we'll see if they can plot their 3-drop here. It's going to be Retrieval picking up Invasion of Ixalan to replay it so that can help find those two combo pieces. And yeah, there's Trailblazer like we mentioned. So I can solve the case if I find another cantrip here, basically. Bouncing the invasion, not the best value proposition, admittedly. But yeah, next turn our opponent's likely to plot Trailblazer, so I wouldn't be able to counter anything. But if I wait a turn, I might still be able to cast a two-mana spell to solve the case. And I'll still be able to maybe keep up interaction in the opponent's turn. Their opponent plots Trailblazer. And I'm just going to take my turn. Find Deadly Cover-Up. Well, if that can clear all the Trailblazers out of the opponent's deck, we probably just win the game. Yeah, it's a little risky to go all out and basically tap out for my turn. But I can still counter a Duplomancy if they have it with Bring the Ending. So maybe I still go for it here. And then Curiosity will still cost me 2 mana. But it's probably better than another case. Sure, we can proliferate the battle here as well. So I'll agree again. Find a Drown and Icker, which doesn't have any targets right now. So I can Curiosity and then tap out for Serum Snare to bounce the invasion. But then I could just die next turn if they go Duplomancy into Trailblazer and then a bunch of cheap spells. So I might just have to call it quits. Or I guess I can cast a Curiosity still. Since that will leave up either Bring the Ending or Serum Snare. Yeah, maybe our win condition is just deadly cover up the Trailblazer. But our opponent's probably not going to cast it until they're ready to combo off. Yeah, not having dealt any poison yet also means our counter spell's not quite as good as it could have been. So I'm hoping they just tap out for Duplomancy. But opponent's going to be patient, it seems. Nope, goes for Trailblazer. That I cannot really counter. And now I guess if they play Duplomancy, they have the mana to pay for Bring the Ending. Alright, they're just going to flash back a gaze. Alright, so now Trailblazer is potentially exposed to Deadly Cover-Up. And that's potentially another win condition here, just get rid of their Trailblazers. So take my turn. And then... Could start with Drown on Trailblazer just to see what their response is. They probably have some protection spells they want to cast. Shore up, that's fine. And then let's try cover up now. Time your safekeeping. Okay, I guess that'll save it here. And now there's no Trailblazer for me to extract out of their graveyard. So is there another card I want to grab? Maybe the Interference. There's two left in the deck. Since it also draws an extra card. Or I can just go for safekeeping in case they have more in hand. Alright, they do have the Duplomancy and the Song to eventually give haste. So... I can... counter... Duplomancy... 
if they don't play their land first, which is unlikely. But I can bounce. So that happens. Yeah, we really need a way to apply a poison. Go for the throat, can now take out the trailblazer at least, so it's gonna be a while before the opponent can keep comboing. And then Mirax can finally deal poison, although it's pretty slow and doesn't help me solve the case. But uh, maybe it's good enough given the circumstance. And then I'll just deal with the trailblazer now. So that's dealt with. Can be patient on Serum Snare. Since Duplomancy doesn't do anything without Trailblazer, but wow, opponent top decked one right away. Okay, so that complicates matters a little bit. Another invasion. Maybe looking for more Duplomancies. Finds a land. So opponent's not going for the combo yet, since they are probably missing a protection spell. But now we can finally apply a poison. So we can start proliferating it with Serum Snare. And Vraska's Fall gets around a potential uh, hexproof trick as well. So maybe step one, Serum Snare, the Duplomancy. I guess never mind, we don't get to proliferate if it's a 4 mana card. So Trailblazer resolves. And then in response to them replaying Duplomancy, we can Vraska's Fall. And now the Duplomancy is not too scary. And then the next Trailblazer we can likely just counter. Alright, this turned out to be a pretty interesting game, thanks to that time you're safekeeping. Otherwise we probably would have ended it a while ago. So we'll pass. And this is probably just going to be a slow, painful death to Might tokens. Instead of ever solving our case. A last turn to maybe combo off. So yeah, that'll do it. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw with a keeper. Facing a Death Bonnet Sprout. So a graveyard deck. We can curve Case into a turn 4 cover-up. And then maybe save our spells until after so we can... Uh, Hopefully solve the case. Scrap work mutt, we'll see what it discards. Tortoise. So we're not under too much pressure. Can probably just play a sewers. And then I don't mind prologue. So yeah, ideally we can wait until turn four to really interact. Aftermath Analyst makes sense. So we might have to take that out before they get to untap and make a boatload of mana. So yeah, next turn they could sacrifice it, get back three lands. Maybe that's not the end of the world, since they don't seem to have a ton of mana sinks. I guess Rise of the Varmints is one of their win conditions. They might have World Soul's Rage as well. Still tempting to just uh, play a case. And then next turn, maybe wipe the board with cover up. And then I'm much more likely to be able to solve the case if I hold my cheaper removal spells in hand. But I will not have uh, enough spells to collect evidence. Eh, Tortoise, that's fine. So now they're not using Analyst. Only getting one land back, and next turn we can wipe the board. 
Our opponents may not be used to expecting a sweeper on turn 4, but thanks to the mana discount here, we can cast it a turn early. So yeah, now we've got a pretty good chance at transforming the case in the near future. Just hoping they play more creatures so we have more targets for our removal spells. So right now I just need one more card draw effect to maybe go for it. And uh, I could always counter my own spell with Bring the Ending. Hopefully it doesn't come to that. So step one, Prologue. Alright, Augury will make it much easier. So then we can uh, drown the Scrapwork Mutts. March the Sprout, X equals 1, which is only going to cost me a single black. And then I can still cast Augury, which is our fourth spell. Case is solved, grab a cover-up, and we'll immediately be able to draw a card of Bring the Ending, which is now a hard counter as well. Yeah, I think that's worth it. Could also let it resolve and then next turn cover up and then extract all the tortoises out of their deck, for instance. Or maybe Rise of the Varmints is scarier. Alright, Vraska's Fall also a pretty clean answer now. And then we can keep cover up as an answer to Rise of the Varmints. Opponent up to four poison already, can make a token end of turn. And Curiosity will now draw three cards. Okay, so we're getting close to lethal. Probably fine to augury now. Find another Vraska's Fall, and Inquiry is one poison, draw two or three cards. Augury is one mana. Let's just grab the augury just because it's a little cheaper. And then I'll just keep going since there's a chance we could close out the game right now. Find Prologue. Seven, so this is eight poison, nine. We're getting very close. All right, I guess I'll just pass with a counter up. Better Union, I guess a way to give all the tokens from Rise of the Varmints haste. So that's the combo, presumably. Can still let that resolve since I can just counter the Rise itself. And now we also maybe have a target for Serum Snare. Although the opponent can sack Reunion in response to Fizzle Serum Snare, so I don't get to proliferate. And it's going to be a Patient Naturalist instead. That's acceptable. So yeah, we can kind of see what the opponent's trying to set up. But we had a very nice sequence to solve our case, which was just a little bit too much for them to overcome. Alright, so we got to enact our game plan a couple times here, and yeah, the case of the Ransacked Lab seems like the perfect addition to this style of poison deck, where you just want to cast a bunch of non-creature spells, and uh, most of them costing two or three mana is kind of the perfect range to play one or two copies of the case to discount them. So pretty happy with where the deck ended up. Still would not recommend it for the ranked ladder, since we of course played this in the play queue, so facing some softer opposition, if you will. And the mono-red matchup, which is very popular on the ranked ladder, is also pretty poor for a deck like this, since uh, we're just kind of slow to get the ball rolling, trying to remove creatures one for one while the opponent has haste creatures and burn spells is not a great strategy. And then we only have the one life gain spell in March, which is just not enough to really survive all the burns they can top deck. So I wouldn't recommend it for ranked, but still a pretty unique deck that has its place in the play queue. So that'll do it for today's gameplay. I want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day.